in that event, aren't they? As are the Chinese men as well, their compatriots, so dominant throughout. So players let out then by Fu Haifeng and Jiang Nan. There are the two Japanese opponents. Hayakawa at the front and Endo at the back. going to serve the left hander. Endo is going to receive then. So this man, really very dangerous on the doubles court. He's a very strong forearm, strong external and internal rotators, and he's very, very snappy and a real treat to watch him play. Fu Haifeng, his partner, Zhang Nan, with his back to us. The, uh, shaven sides of his head on the right of the uh, picture as we look. They are Zhang Nan, 26 years old, the right-hander in the team. His partner, 32, but as I say, they're ranked third. They've been as high as world number ones. That was back in September 2012, Jill, uh, and also, tell a lie, July 2015 as well. This man, very, very explosive, very dangerous, very strong in the arm. His arm is like the size of my leg. He's huge. <laughs> a really strong, powerful athlete. And it means, of course, that when he's close to the net, suddenly from nowhere he can just flick a winner. Kenichi Hayakawa, both world-ranked seventh. The Japanese team, 30 years old. Really good at the front court, and the plan is to get him to the front court as often as they can, frankly. It's a well-known fact. But these two, twice All England Open finalists. And uh, haven't managed to get the win, but there's a uh, Rocky Endo, 29 years old. There's the head-to-head -head showing for the uh, players ranked slightly higher at third in the world. They lead the head-to-heads 4-2, uh, but, and it is a big but, last meeting, as you can see there, was won by the Japanese look in straight games, 21-19, 21-12 at the uh, All England Open. Back in March. So the coaching team is changed because it's a different 18, discipline. So the third best team in the world against the seventh best team in the world should be a cracker. And of course, with Lindan lined up next to do business against Takuma Ueda. 44th ranked against Lindan, third in the world. You'd imagine that this really is a must win match for these two players in red and white. And on my left, China represented by Fu Feng and Zhang Nan. China to serve, Fu Feng to handle the routine. So Fu to get us underway then. In blue and white, top left of your picture for China. 
Four times in 2015, these two teams. No! And it was all Fu and Jan. They won each of the showings that year. November 2014 was the only other win. That Hiroyuki Endo and Kenichi Hayakawa had over the higher seeds. to the opponents, Three, that one. Two. Did well getting that one back, Hayakawa. And the next shot just slammed through the floor of the court. Well, they say he's got one of the most powerful smashes in the men's doubles game. Four. Not only is it hard, but he gets right up there, so it's often coming from a very steep angle. And I'm told by my good friend, Steen Pedersen, that steep is better than hard, because so many good players today, particularly in men's doubles, have really strong defences. And they're super agile, but very often if you hit it hard, it comes back hard as well, but if you can get it steep, get the angle right down then generally it's more favorable and that foo does a lot oh. you can see he's trying it there but he's a remarkably explosive athlete and he's got this very stern business face when he gets out there the 32 year old the lefty. Outs. Well, it's quick, it's decisive, flat hard drives, and the crutch through each other. Nobody very keen to lift the shuttle, understandably so. All with all these four athletes are incredibly explosive up above. And uh, it's about getting on the front foot, getting close to the net for the front court player and just trying to intercept as much as they can and they just hammer through low and fast and hard, really. Great return from Kiroyuki Endo. laugh as he so often does resilient defense from these two Seven, five. Oh. Oh. 
well in his quest to keep that serve so tight to the net. He finds the tape. Free point. Brando and Hayakawa. Gratefully received, I'm sure. together this year. But boy, do they look sharp. What a finals of uh, the All England seven. Open and the Malaysian Open, semi finals of the Badminton Asian Championships recently. They won the Singapore Open, though, these two. Exchange. These two, the Japanese players, played five times this year. Runners up of the All England Open. Losing to Ivanov and Sozanov. Of course, uh, I think it's Ivanov that's out with a, an injury at the moment. Semi finalist at the German Open. Quarter finalist, Malaysian Open. Lost to Lian Yu. Top seed. Got the second round showings for these two as well. Round of 16 at uh, Singapore Open. Lost to Lian Liu. The, uh, Asian Championships as well. Their goal is clearly to get Hayakawa to the net as quickly as possible. He's very, very good in the front court. But you can only do what you're allowed to. And you can see that the other two have accurate buckling pace. And so hard for them to get in there. 11, 7, play. Ah! to the players after that mid-game interval to get the ball rolling again. Having had the momentum coming into the mid-game interval, Fu visibly frustrated at not sustaining that momentum. So important to run with the lead as much as you can. themselves that point. reflexes from both teams. I was just watching Fu during that rally and just how quick he was at intervening, intercepting so much. Sheer 
arm strength, frankly, core strength. Japanese Jiro doing very well to come out the right side of that point. So just a little confusion about who's serving to who. set up beautifully it's a set play that I'm sure he's done a lot of in practice Suddenly, he managed to intervene, and you know, there's no looking back. He's very, very quick in the front court. Long, grueling rally. Just the one point between them. Both teams having a couple of runs of three points. Rushing through into error. So Endo Hayakawa draw level. Having been 11 points to eight down at the mid-game interval, that's strong work from these two. Four points in a row for the Reds and Whites. Chinese. So from four in a row against them to three in a row in their favour. Well, it's a risk you take as a front court player. If you're too tight to that net, the only thing you do is rush yourself. In attempting to rush your opponents, it's easy to just sort of get it a little too tight to the net, and the, the shuffle's behind you and you lose control. That's why it's so important to have that racket tip right up in the air, in anticipation to minimise that preparation time. position a lot more often than they'd like to. Well, there will have been a diagnosis from Team China at the uh, All England Open, where 
Fu and Jiang lost to this team. And I'm sure patterns of play will have been created, albeit very, very subtle, to make life that much harder for the Reds and Whites. Point of the match so far. How did they turn that around? Hayakawa coming to the rescue with very quick hands at the front court. But immaculate defense. but now diligent work has drawn them level 16 all the business end of this opening game. There's so little between oh. both teams. away from this game. Well, as quick as he is, that was a terrific early return from Jack Nunn. Took a calculated risk and it paid off. Hayakawa with his lightning quick hands couldn't uh, respond in time. Terrific defense from Endo. Nice. 
Massive. Firmly struck. Right to the hole on the court. Still deadlocked in this game. Teams. It's a crushing blow to whoever loses this tight opening game. Well, in fairness, Zhang and Fu had their themselves in the lead a lot more often in that opening game than did the Japanese duo. So, a just result in the end, you feel. But it still feels like there's a lot of badminton left in this match. For one twenty seconds. For one twenty seconds. strength from the arm of Fu because the shuttle was behind him on a couple of occasions in that rally but he still managed to dig it out to no avail in the end though well played yeah, Kawa. Jack does that well, he closes so fast. It's a real risk, and you think on occasions he'd be a sucker for the flick serve, but seems to get away with it. These are the uh, hair product boys, aren't they? They like the, uh, the wax and the gel in the hair. The Chinese duo opting for the shorter, more practical cut. Again, the 
menacing. Ooh, I thought the net there, closing it down, taking time and space away from the red and white team. Even if it does get behind him, he's still got a fighting chance because he can just flick that wrist with massive strength. Dangerous player because so often over the years, points have almost been won against him, but it will just claw them out from seemingly irretrievable positions. It's a handy asset to have for this player. Astonishing in this men's doubles. Flat, hard drives that are often lights out intensity. And they're all coming hey. back. <laughs> Great to watch. Desperate to stop the momentum the Chinese players have built, wanting to walk towards the towel. And uh, the umpire gestures, yeah, okay. front foot and they will not be denied three in a row for Fu Ajang really turning the screw now
what happens you have to be brave and fortune favors the brave very much in doubles but sometimes they come at the cost and uh, you, know, you sometimes get tagged <laughs> the food didn't pump there it's like diving after the shuttle that didn't quite make its way over anyway to stop just in front of the net post he wants that white of course but he was really on a mission to this one. Did well to lay up there and just uh, keep his legs from riding on to crunch into the net post. Very well done, good strong core. So now they have a big advantage, six points. In a row, as well as a run of four points just prior to that. So it's been a run of four, a run of three for the Japanese, and then a run of six for the Chinese. Oh, brilliant from Fu. And again, that throbbing forearm coming to into play just in time. Look how quick he was there. Saw the opening as well, just managed to nudge it down through the alley. Very respectfully listening to everything the coaches had to say. They've really put it together in this second game. So the pearls of wisdom from the Chinese coaching bench coming to fruition. very very well to get on the front foot and turn that point around because more often than not on the evidence of what we've seen of late it's been the Blues that have uh, in this Chelsea Arsenal look-alike match it's been the Blues that have been on the front foot in the uh, attacking positions more often and here they go again well played though good defense Again, quick hands from Hayakawa in his favoured part of the court. That was a good turnaround from them here. Look how quick he was to close. Keeping the angle in his knees as well, so he had somewhere to go. Sometimes when players sort of stand up too early in the rally, there's nowhere to go and they'll just collapse down. hand from the bench as well as all around the stadium Zhang was on the floor at one stage there here he goes <laughs> he's down but not out does well to get back and recover that court position Fu meanwhile is just thrashing at smashes as he does so well that was a terrific dig look at that did well to uh, recompose and get back up and go on to win the point Fantastic. 
six. from the last four points for the uh, for these two well played he managed to get it past that jang of the net there did they know up the line so suddenly the runner four very much in the uh, favor of the red and whites they're clawing this deficit back. Still four points of drift with work to do. of a brilliant flick serve from Fool. 34, 10, 13. Jan is getting a lot of the exposure from the Japanese players. They are just hammering the shuttle, his side more often than not. Fully aware of the strength of food. And they're isolating their man. Seven of the last nine points have gone in their favour. Make that eight from ten now. And they're pulling this second game out of the fire. No, These two are really up against it now. The momentum very much with the Japanese. Look at all the play. Where's it going most of the time? Oh, and he gets involved. He's deadly. Dangerous pace up there. He really has. Very strong. 
close opening game and in keeping with that now contrary to what we thought about 15 minutes or so ago this really is very very close <laughs> well despite the aggressive court position Fu uncharacteristically just Getting a little overexcited there, trying to hit that 14, 15. final sort of semi-smash away. Those of you, if you were just joining us, Team China were 11 4 up here at the mid game interval. 15 12 up, and now deadlock. Well, so he can be uh, pardoned or excused. Most players keen to cut the broken restring out in case the frame distorts. And he's happy just to get on with it. in a row for the Japanese they've had multiple runs of three three of them this game to attack to defense to attack all over the place well endo carrying a real calm about him but extremely alert these two they really have had the run of this uh, recent passage of play Since 11 4 down, they've only dropped three points. It's oh! out, good lead for Fu. Thank you. 
early trying to get some uh, angle. Love a return. The experience of the 32-year-old lefty coming to the fore. Yeah. And his partner did the same. Zhang Nan very quick at the fourth quarter as well. Well, he's underperformed of late, this man. I don't like him. He's normally so solid. Whether it's a pressure thing, I don't know. But he's been the weak link at the moment. Only marginally and respectfully said, because he's a very, very accomplished player, but it's him who's been a little more errant than the, the other three. That's it. Look at how he retrieved that. Was so quick to pounce on that type of serve. It's a very high risk return, but it pays dividends for him a lot. throughout this map has risen to the occasion when it matters most. So after 47 minutes then, match point. Japanese of as Shosazaki did in the singles fought their hearts out here. Yeah, short lift got what it deserved. Dispatched by how Hayakawa. get it done in straight games. Penetration from Fu. And again, it gives game point to the Japanese. 
And for another wonderful turnaround. Ten minutes shy of an hour they've been out there on this match court. And we've been treated to some brilliant men's doubles. Are they going to take us to a decider? Did really well in retrieving the flick serve, but then he turned it around and had his way in the end. Look at that, he's a bit more cautious there. That was higher percentage. But that one slam dunked into the deck. Sustained pressure from the Japanese team. And the Chinese wilted at the very end. Wow. A little confusion down the middle. In the middle of the uh, point. So, third game point opportunity here for Endo and Hayakawa. the best in the world from time to time. <laughs> Challenge from the two Chinese who were both insistent immediately, so... to the end of smash. Anxious moments, these. Deadlock in this deciding game. Locked him 23 all. Tension etched all over their faces. Taking a little while. Oh, it's great. Oh, the rapid. Well, Hayakawa has suggested that it clipped food on the way through. see clearly whether it clipped he wants to see it again he wants to see it again 
But the umpire says final. Although he has a point in case, really. Well, the standoff is because the Japanese players are insisting that it, it hit Zhang Nan on the way through, and hence that's why the shuttle was kind of crushed almost in two. And almost distorted, but uh, they're going to continue anyhow. But this sense of uh, irritation fuel their motivation. And yes, <laughs> high five very firmly struck between the Japanese after that, and a right smile as well. They're back level though. Well, okay, so we've another challenge from Zhang Fu. Slow-mo, well in. in terms of ranking. They have another game point opportunity. I think that's number four. Real sense of calm. So again, Hayakawa on his own serve here. Is he going to go with the flick? Zhang can close extremely quickly if it's low and short. Let's have a look. That's it. We're going to be treated to a decider. 27 25. They snatched the second game, having been right down in that game. Wow, they were. They were 11 4 down at the mid game interval and they pulled that one out of the fire. いいよいいよ。
which is uh, the Japanese camp particularly animated. Of course, if the Japanese duo can win this one, it will keep the tie very much alive, locked in at one all. But uh, Team China really had the upper hand there. As I said, I keep on mentioning 11-4 in that second game, but that's a really good turnaround from these two. Just drawing on that deep-seated belief that despite trailing on the head-to-head -head showings 4-2, they won the last one, more importantly. The, uh, Final game. All England Open back in March. Hello. It's straight games. So Wait. that's given them... <laughs> Sense of confidence you feel. Here we go then, start of the decider. Surely you have to flick serve Zhang, don't you, with his ability just to quickly pounce on that return? See how effective Endo was with the uh, blocking off of Fu's pace. Really accurately back cross court to the hole in the court. They seem to have so much time on the shuttle, these guys, because they live at such a high tempo with their practice routines. Well, that was really quick from Hayagawa. Wow, because Zhang was on the return like lightning. So, scoreboard symmetry. Game all, two all. time there that's for sure such an even contest between the third and seventh ranked team in the world Four, five. 
it comes down to the smallest of margins, doesn't it? And can have the largest of consequences in this great game. So again, as Fu and Zhang attempt to accelerate away, they just peg back. Three ahead, and now level. It's become a familiar feature of the match, the ability to retrieve the score so well. Team Japan. Example of how to turn the point around, but just missing what seemed like the easiest shot in the rally there. Hayakawa having worked so diligently as well, that's a real shame for them. <laughs> this face tells its own story, doesn't it? Disbelief. Seven, five. But there's no point getting all emotive about it because, of course, that uses uh, precious energy, an energy which is required to the nth degree in this uh, sort of long drawn out contest. Been on court for an hour and seven minutes in this Thomas Group. Group A decider of who's going to be seeded in the quarterfinals. Both teams have qualified, of course, but this is about bragging rights. It goes beyond that. China, well, they're desperate to avenge that 2014 loss. They've had so few of them over the years, really, China. Uh, well, they just want to put the record straight for Japan. They want to be seeded as well, and only one team can be. So it's all to play for. third hosting in China of this Thomas Nuba Cup four years ago in Wuhan China won both the Thomas and the Uber Cup 3-0 the scoreline in both this is the 29th edition of the Thomas Cup and the 26th edition of the Uber Cup the uh, ladies event if you will oh. over the 67 Eight. years of the tournament history the Thomas Cup has been won remarkably only by four nations and the last nation to do it were indeed Japan just a couple of years ago it's a biannual event of course so they were the last uh, defending champions it's gone it's spilt long and Zhang edge ahead in this decider by just two points. We know how dangerous the Japanese duo are at clawing it back. Eight, 
Team China have nine titles in this event. Japan, just the one. China have also been in the final another twice on top of that. It's a very strong and dictatorial. Oh! Wonderful body shot from Endo to Fu. Nine, ten. But as we said at the top of the program, both teams have pulled out their toughest side in their quest to get the seeding advantage going into the quarterfinals. So again, in keeping with the whole match, Japan draw level. Japanese duo as they uh, change ends at the mid game interval. Really immaculate defensive qualities and the ability just to just dig deep with such resilience and turn unthinkable situations around. To remind those of you if you are just coming to watch this one, they were 11 4 down in the second game, Endo and Hayakawa. Pulled it back to win the game, look, and uh, such a close, deciding game. Well, these are the top seats. Japan, the fifth seats. And this is the last day of group team competition. Eight countries go home with very little to show, apart from the pride of having played here in Kunshan. And eight countries go through to a fresh draw. The quarterfinals will start tomorrow. We will be bringing you unrivaled coverage throughout the day. <laughs> coverage starts at uh, 1 p.m. local time tomorrow, with another match at uh, 7 p.m. following. So uh, an afternoon and an evening session. There will be no early morning session. coming from these two now. 12, 11. Against almost anybody else in the world, that point would have been dead and buried, but not so. Oh, it's landed in. 13, 12. Missed. 
Well, things going from bad to worse for Fu and Zhang. And the memories of the recent All England loss to the Japanese pairing haunting them now, you'd imagine. They just will not yield. So resilient in defense, these two in red. And it was the dead neck cord that separated them in the end. What a match. A sheer test of character and will of both teams. Remarkable. Too greedy with the off backhand angle, and again it's Fu and Zhang marginally in front. 15, Something that they've done far more throughout the course of this match than their opponents today. points then. Oh, thunderous. Steep angle created from the good vertical jump from Jack. Six points in a row. How have they managed that? 18, 14. Three points away from a 2-0 match lead in this tie oh. against the defending champions with Lindan to back up. Now that's reassuring. Well, it's sort of teetered and wobbled on the top of the net cord for a while, did that one. Steep angle from Fu, an insistent pulling his way through that one. Well, to be fair, as hard as the Japanese have played, they have been playing second fiddle throughout, frankly. They've been playing catch-up, they've done amazingly well in doing so. But you do feel that the front runners more often are in the deserved position. Oh! 
Well, it went the way of China. And listen to what it means to them. <laughs> 81 minutes have come and gone. Five match point opportunities for Vu, Vu and Jiang. by the net court, the Japanese, they fought valiantly, a really great match to watch, in terrific spirit, but in the end, the might of Fu and Zhang, in accordance with the world rankings, the world ranked third pair coming through after 81 minutes. Match won by China, 21-19, 25-27, 21.15. There it is then, conclusion of that one. A pat on the back for his partner. What an entertaining evening it is. Confirmation of the score, 21.15 in the decider for Fu and Zhang. Don't go anywhere, we are going to be treated to Lin Dan up next. He's doing battle against Takuma Ueda.